this week in Tim sits in a very nice car in a posh suit and everyone thinks he's probably a posho. Greek love. Greek is a Semitic language, much I would imagine to the annoyance of any Greek neo-Nazis out there. Who who needs facts to get in the way of, of knee-jerking your way around civilization, eh? Either way, that means that the Greeks have four words for love, as did the Hebrews. The problem is, is of course, they have cultural context, and quite a lot of that cultural context comes from a couple of thousand years ago and more. So when trying to relate the four words for love into modern-day English, you sort of end up saying things like, well, it's all sort of the same, but it's all sort of different. Why am I bringing this up, you may say? Why are you wading into this soup of mediocrity. Well, because I'm a glutton for punishment, of course, but also, mainly, I keep getting tripped up by words which have philia in them. So, for instance, uh, haemophilia, or philanthropist, or that other one that I'm not going to say, because it just will lead into a, a whole mess of messes, mess of messes. So we're going to try to do this briefly, because there are other videos out there that cover this, and they are all 20 minutes long and boring, some of which, some of them are okay. The four different types of Greek love are, I'm going to have to look at this, agape, eros, Philia, storge. It's not storge, it's storge. I know there are other sources which might call it storge. They are definitely wrong. And also, if you are Greek and you are watching this, you will also realise that I've totally murdered your mother tongue. I apologise. So if we start with agape, that is like a charitable love. It's a love that God has for his children. That's also a love that you might feel for somebody who you're looking after. The next is storge. I'm definitely saying that wrong. I, it's better than storage. It sounds like you're saying storage, but you're from a part of the world where you don't say that particular syllable. Storage. Storage. That's quite a good American accent. It's not. It's really not. Anyway, storge is like a natural empathy. It's the sort of empathy that you might feel for other people in your community. It's the sort of empathy that is specifically put towards or love of maybe someone who's not very good at something or maybe even just putting up with a particularly bad situation. It's the sort of love actually that probably Jesus the Christ was talking about and probably also David Foster Wallace. I'm not equating those two people to being sort of equal. I Eros is the most straightforward of all of them because it's just sexual love, right? Which Plato said you didn't need to do sexual love to attain spiritual uh, transcendence, which is why we have the term platonic. But he also, Plato, who the only records of Socrates, as you may or may not know, is what Plato wrote of him. Uh, he had Plato argue that um, erotic love, which is where we get the word erotic, eros, an essential way to find uh, one's truth of place in the universe. So having really great sex, sexual sexual relations means that you can attain attain truth of of the universe. Sex sexual. The final one is the one that we use all the time, which is philia or phylos or phi phil phila philia which is more like an affection or a regard or a friendship, which, you know, between equals. So philia, why do we name a blood disease after philia? Well, that's because when it was discovered, it was noticed that the Queen Victoria had passed it throughout her family. So it was it was shown to be hereditary, which meant that someone had had, had, had some sexual, sexual relations. And then that, that, trait had been passed on down the generations. The literal translation of that word being blood love, which I'm not quite sure how I feel about that, but here we are, this is the world we live in, eh? And then of course there's philanthropists, so phil, philo, the love of, anthro, man, specifically men, uh, but actually, of course, mankind, we've gone over this before. And ist, so someone who practices that thing, which is actually Latin. So it's philanthro, which is uh, Greek, Greek, Latin. So it's a bit of a, I don't know. Ista being a suffix which describes someone who practices something. This has all got extremely complicated already. Anyway, there's some Greek love. You go and do some more research or reading or something, or next time you notice the word philia in something, then go, oh, I wonder what that... I do know what that means, because... Anyway, 
next see you next week it's probably going to be next week bye then bye